Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting damn in kitchen. Where are we going? What are we making? Guys, we're going to make something. I'm not, I know sometimes I get a little overexcited. I'm going to get even a little bit over, more overexcited. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. We're going to make a pistachio olive oil uh, lemon cake. This thing is awesome. It's it's covered with this with this mascarpone cheese topping. Mm, it is delicious. It's fantastic. It's fun. Relatively easy. Got a few ingredients to get over. So let's go over ingredients. What do you say? Let's start having some fun. Now I'm going to divide this in two sets because we've got the cake and then we've got the topping. Okay. So first thing you're going to need is one cup of flour. I, you can use an all-purpose flour. I like a pastry flour. I like unenriched, unbleached flour. Next, you're going to need olive oil. Where would I go to get some of the greatest oil? I know I always got to plug my videos. So we're going to use a quarter cup, quarter cup of extra virgin Italian olive oil. Now I know what you're thinking, Joe, where do I get that? You can get it anywhere, but I happen to own a farm in Italy, Puglia, just above the heel. We co-op with a whole group of farms to bring some of the world's best extra virgin olive oil you're ever going to have called Vito and Joe's. I know what you're thinking, Joe, we'd love to get it. I'd love for you to get it too. Where do you go? Just hit the link above, hit the link below, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and uh, and click buy it. Now you grab yourself a few bottles, drop ship it right to your front doorstep. I always think of it as taking a trip to Italy right in a bottle. Okay, now where was I? Next, you're going to need three quarters of a cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, Half of a cup of full fat. That's right. I said it. We're going there. Full fat yogurt. Quarter cup of whole milk. One of my favorites. Two teaspoons. Oh, lemon zest. Absolutely delicious. So two teaspoons of lemon zest. I'll show you a little trick on that. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. One whole egg. About an eighth of a teaspoon. Oh. Nutmeg, one of my favorites of all. So eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, we're gonna fresh grind that. Now you're thinking, Joe, the pistachios, the pistachios. I gotcha, I gotcha. So we got one third of a cup of pistachios here. Now I wanna be clear, they're roasted. So make sure you get non-salted, I'm gonna say that again, non-salted roasted pistachios. Put them in a little processor, give them a fine ground, one third of a cup. If you can't find them roasted, I would certainly encourage you to roast them. It's going to bring out flavor, gives richness, depth, gives you a little caramelization, really changes the flavor. Also, so I don't forget, when you're using the pistachio, hold back just a little bit because we're going to sprinkle a little bit on the top for decoration, give it a nice look. Next, you're going to need subscribe to our channel. This is really not an ingredient. But listen, if you want this to come out fantastic, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, notification bell. It'll help share our videos. Other people love having fun in the kitchen, cooking Italian, and I really appreciate it. I always say a welcome you to the family, and it really means the world to me. Thank you. Topping. You're going to grab some mascarpone cheese, similar to cream cheese if you can't get mascarpone cheese. We're going to do three quarters of a cup. Want it room temperature. You want it soft. Half a cup of whipping cream. Two teaspoons of lemon juice. I'm going to tell you to have a little bit extra lemon. So what I did is I took half the lemon, I got two teaspoons out of it, and I want to use the other half, and I zested this obviously as well. I'm going to make some thin slices. We're going to use that for decoration. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, four tablespoons of granulated sugar, eight inch rounded cake pan, a little parchment. I like to put these little tabs on the side. That way when I put it in and I fold it, it's easy to pull off the bottom of the cake. Whisk, pan to stir, sifter, spatula, oven, preheated 350 degrees. Guys, first thing I want to do, I want to show you a little trick here I, I learned from a French baker. So I'm going to take my sugar in a, in a bowl here. Now I'm going to take my lemon zest. And the goal here is to extract the lemon flavor, lemon oils from your zest. So what he taught me to do is take the zest, put it in the sugar, and stir it up a little bit, and actually kind of create some friction just for 30 seconds to a minute. And you'll be amazed at how much more flavor you'll get out of your zest. Next, I'm going to put my salt in. And now to prevent lumps, I'm going to go ahead and just sift my flour, baking soda, baking powder. And now give this a nice gentle stir. Now we'll do our wet ingredients. We're going to take our egg first. Now I'm going to add my milk. Add your vanilla. Add your yogurt. Give that a good stir. Now I'm going to add my Vito and Joe's olive oil. 
I'm gonna add my pistachios. Make sure you hold back a little bit. And now guys, I'm gonna add some nutmeg. Good eighth of a teaspoon or more. I like nutmeg, so a little bit more. Oh, that's beautiful. And now guys, gently give it a good stir. And now take your dry ingredients and just do the old school Italian. Just put a little well in there in the middle. And then you're gonna pour your wet ingredients inside. And make sure you get every little morsel out of there. And simple guys, just give it a nice stir with your spatula. Now I'm gonna give you a little baker's tip here. I gave it a good stir. You're gonna let it set for about 15 minutes. What that's gonna do, it's gonna allow the flour and dry ingredients to hydrate. It'll absorb the moisture. Flour actually behaves a little differently. So when you hydrate the flour, it actually puts more moisture deep inside the flour itself. And when the flour cooks, it actually brightens up or opens up a little bit more for you. So let that, if you will, rest for about 15 minutes. Now guys, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna give it a nice stir. You see how soft that is? It immediately changes, which is great. So get in the habit of always doing that. Now I'm gonna grab my pan, perfect. Now put your batter in. So heads up guys, this is not gonna be a high rise cake. So it's a little bit denser and because of the oil, it'll lay a little flatter. So it's gonna rise maybe double in height, that's it. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. First thing, take the mascarpone cheese, which is softened. Next, take your sugar, put your sugar in there because we're gonna cream the cheese and the sugar. I'm gonna take the vanilla, put the vanilla right in there. And now guys, I'm gonna put just a couple tablespoons of the heavy cream and that'll loosen it up a little bit before I add the rest. Now at a low setting, I'm gonna give it a mix. I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit. Now add the rest of your heavy cream. Start off slow with your mix. And now we're making essentially a whipped cream. We're looking for it to be relatively stiff. You guys at a really slow setting, just sprinkle in a little bit of lemon juice. You're basically leaving it on low and you're just stirring everything up. That's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna throw that right in the refrigerator. We'll wait till the cake comes out. Just pull it out of the oven. You're gonna see that drop really quick. So it puffed up in the middle. I checked it with a, uh, with a knife, came out clean. So we're gonna let it cool here for a good 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take a knife and just go around the outside of my pan, get this loose, and this should come right out. Yep, perfect. So easiest thing to do is just flip your plate over, and then I've got my paper. It's gonna come right off. And now I'm gonna put my pan back. We're gonna put our frosting on. You guys, I'm gonna take that pistachio that I had left over and just hold it up a little higher and give it a sprinkle. Favorite time, taste time. You ready? I wish I could do it for you guys. Look at that, you can see how moist it is. The aroma in here is fantastic. My frosting on the top looks great. First thing you get is the, you definitely get the pistachio. You can get the aroma mm, from the lemon. Oh, that is good. Mm-hmm, mm. Sweet lemon right away. Cream, custard. Mm-hmm. And there's a chewing it, you're getting the cake, and you're getting that delicious lemon the olive oil, and I just love the pistachio. It's really dense, so it's so rich, smooth, velvety. Mm. And the egg, the sugar, the vanilla. I'm gonna get just a little bit of the nutmeg, just a teeny bit. I gotta be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm. I'll tell you what's right about this cake, it gets better with every bite, and I'm, and I'm proving that right now. I just love the pistachio. It's got such a great, fatty, nutty, it's got that unique flavor. And then you couple that with the lemon and the olive oil and then the cream and the custard. Mm. Vanilla, nutmeg, oh, mm. malto bono, malto bono. Guys, thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today. What a recipe, I'm telling you. That's definitely gonna be a fan family favorite. Now remember, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, notification bell, grab yourself a few bottles of Vito and Joe's extra virgin Italian only olive oil right on our website or different platforms. I always think of it as taking a trip to Italy right in a bottle. And last but not least, guys, and really the main reason we do our videos is, you know, once a month, once a week, shut off the cell phone, shut off the computer, the TV, get around the kitchen table with your family and friends, you know, and spend some time cooking stuff and burning stuff and telling stories and enriching your lives with the, with the history and the stories they have to share, I'll tell you, there's nothing better. And you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna celebrate your heritage, whatever that may be. But more important than that, you're gonna set traditions of love. They're gonna last your lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen years, until next week, mwah, bon appetito.